big crash. Felix Rosenquist. Oh my goodness. I bet I know where that is. I think that's onto the back straightaway. And what we've seen in years past is a driver hitting the right front on the concrete wall at the apex. That is huge. You can see it's pushed the wall and the fence. In fact, it kicked the tires all the way over the chain link fence. And if you hit the inside wall, it can break the steering rack and then you have no control and you go head on into the barrier. There is a stretch, there's a short shoot, but it's a fast shoot between turns five and six. And this is on the exit of turn six. You saw the Arrow McLaren SP driver visor up. That signifies to the AMR safety team and race control that he is conscious. But that was a big one. It looked like he's in pretty serious pain yes. there. And it looks like the front end of the nose pretty heavily compromised. Let's see if my theory holds true. Oh boy, almost went out of the park. It's right on board. It sounded like the throttle stuck. Holy cow, the throttle did stick. That was bizarre. It sounded like he went to a downshift and then had wide open throttle on the limiter as Sam Schmidt, the team owner, looks on. That was frightening. So I don't think that had anything to do with the steering rack. The 29 year old Swedish driver just took maybe the scariest ride of his life. And that's not something we see often in IndyCar driver, in yeah. IndyCar racing a stuck throttle. You just, it's very, very rare. And I'm afraid that that, that nose of the race car was able to penetrate underneath or through the tire barrier and it's just concrete block on the other side and you can see how much the barrier has been pushed back normally this just runs straight and right here it's kinked out that's how much force Rosenquist had into the into the fence and this is going to take a while to clean up AMR guys are going to try to stabilize Rosenquist before they attempt to extract him. Look at that. Look at that one concrete barrier. Just totally pushed over. I mean, and those the, are the, anchored together. Yeah. Lee. There are uh, there are steel inserts that connect the wall. There's rebar that loops into the wall and then a steel post that goes down through the middle. And it's just blown that completely open. I mean, the amount of inertia that is required to do that is colossal, to say the least. But yeah. we showed you that onboard replay and it was a it was a frightening ride for Felix Rosenquist. And a big front impact like that, the concern is always the, the feet and legs. This is Felix's third year in the NTT IndyCar Series, a highly accomplished international driver. This is his first year with Arrow McLaren SP. And he was on a really good run today. So strange. I've, I've never really. It was so weird that he, he grabbed a downshift and then the throttle stuck wide open. That's such a bizarre situation. Usually, stuck throttle is immediately when you're trying to lift off the throttle, but we heard the engine decelerating, then the downshift was requested, and the moment it kicked down in the lower gear, it's like the thing just took off, probably overpowered any chance to slow the car down, and literally accelerated straight off into the fence. And look at the, um, uh, I mean, we have seen the remarkable job that the AMR safety team does um, uh, for many, many years. But look at the compromised position that the, that the car and Felix are in for them to perform their yeah. their duties. I mean, it's just even yeah, all more the, complicated. All the training for AMR, these guys train extensively. They practice 
before every race weekend. The same crew travels with the IndyCar Series. They are absolutely the best in the world in motorsports at handling these situations. But to your point, they aren't used to doing this when the car is at a 45 degree angle pointed to the sky. Now it's gonna take a while for them probably to deal with the extraction here as they start the process and then they're gonna to have to take time to repair the track over there. You can see all of the water, the kind of residual water. We had pretty heavy rain last night. All that water was trapped inside the tire, so that came out. That'll have to be cleaned up as well. For those of you just joining us, this first leg of the double header weekend here in Detroit, the Chevrolet Grand Prix. Uh, we are now under a red flag condition. You're looking at the Arrow McLaren SP Chevrolet of Felix Rosenquist, 29 year old Swedish driver. Um, he is alert. We've seen that from our own camera shots and the AMR safety team are just trying to extricate him safely out of there after an incredibly uh, confronting the, the, the speed was unabated and he just collided with a stuck throttle straight into the tire barrier, the, the concrete barriers, the fence as the car climbed forward. Uh, we knew straight away that Felix was conscious as he was able to raise his visor but seemed in immense pain uh, by, his, just, by just his expression, his looks facial like, expression. Uh, looks like we're going to be in a red flag situation as cars come to a stop on pit lane. Everybody lines up in their uh, respective order as we pause for Felix to be um, extricated from his car in the very, very good hands of the AMR safety team. And again, Townsend, I come back to the point and you know it all too well for, for your years of racing. Is that, the, is that a, a stuck throttle in an Indy car is something that we just don't often it's see? It's a fly-by-wire throttle, so it's not a mechanical cable like it used to be from the throttle pedal back to the engine. So effectively, it's like an electronic switch, like the dimmer switch for your lights on the house. Yeah, sure. And um, I, just, I just can't imagine what all of a sudden could have created that situation. You know, is there any chance that his, his foot got trapped um, getting on the brake pedal, uh, we don't know. Um, and they're taking their time as they should to slowly pull Felix out of the race car. And there he comes. So again, for those of you just turning on to watch this uh, Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix, you're looking at uh, the AMR safety team holding Swedish driver Felix Rosenquist. They've put the uh, neck collar on him and they're about to place him on, uh, on the stretcher after a really frightening accident at turn six on and this 14 turn course. And Diff, if we, can, if we can take any positive from what we're watching, it's that it's methodical, it's slow. Yes. It's not urgent. Yes. And that is, uh, uh, that is a, a positive and, a, and an otherwise very, very difficult situation. But the AMR team just taking their time to extract him carefully, get him on the gurney, into the ambulance, and, and uh, almost certainly off to a local hospital by helicopter. And I can tell you that before the drivers uh, stepped out of their respective cars, while uh, we certainly enjoy the competitiveness and the, the uh, fierceness of these guys when they race each other. 
Uh, this is a pretty small, tight-knit family, and each and every one of those drivers would have radioed into their team saying, is Felix OK? Absolutely. And this is, this is something that we're more used to seeing on an oval, not so much a street circuit, because the speeds are lower here. But you have to remember, in a right-hand corner like that, still probably going 80, 90 miles an hour. In Felix's case, accelerating. Accelerating, that's Which right. is the worst. As history shows, um, everyone that's, that's like... You know how tired some of these drivers are after just 27 laps of racing. Super hot in the cockpit. Teams, teammates Hinchcliffe and Hunter Ray debriefing. There's Pagano. So Felix Rosenquist is in the ambulance. The AMR safety team have again done a stellar job taking care of one of these world-class athletes. Hi, I'm Kyle Petty. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest NASCAR news and highlights. And don't miss NASCAR American Motor Mouse every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. on Peacock. Go to PeacockTV.com or download the app from the App Store or Google Play.